taste of, I know you all, you played Lamar from the South end, but playing Rio Grande Valley, a different team, you got a taste of what the WAC is going to be like. What are your impressions of the conference? Yeah, yeah, like I said, Lamar's always tough. And, you know, again, it was a good battle. You know, I, I felt like, you know, I guess we both had some, both teams had some opportunities, but we we definitely had some that were there. And it's just, we just didn't put it in the net. Um, Rio Grande Valley, you know, even though that was the first time, you know, we played them in conference in the WAC, but we, that was our third time playing them overall. Um, so we have, a, we had an idea, at least uh, from a few years ago, kind of the style they play and what they, you know, what they're all about. So, so, it, but it was good to kind of get things started and things started on a good note. Is it a strange schedule where it's, it's all in the division and you're going to play uh, the same teams rather quickly, you know, you, the first time you play them, you'll see them not too long after that. Yes, yeah, so, um, the last time we played a double round robin was back in 2012 when we were in the Lone Star Conference, like I said. And then sometimes it turns out, you know, you play a team not only twice, but, you know, if you get in the tournament, you play them three times. And one year we played a team four times in the same year. You know, I just sometimes it can get a little chippy as, as it goes on. But but overall, uh, it's something we're just going to have to get used to going forward. How big was this opening weekend in conference to get at least the tie and the point on Friday and then to get the win on Sunday? How important was that to start off one on one? No, it is big. You know, you know, like it's obviously it'd have been great to get two wins, but getting four points is better than in zero or three. So, uh, yeah, but those, you know, Lamar and Rio Grande Valley are good teams, and those are teams that you know that you got to beat at home. Or you got to pick up some points at home because you know going there on the road is going to be tough. So those uh, definitely was was worth uh, all, all four points were were huge for us coming in out of that weekend. From Friday into Sunday, obviously low scoring, no scoring, I should say, on Friday, and then and then to go three to two uh, on Sunday. Offensively, was it something that, that changed from Friday to Sunday? Was it strictly just the opponent and the way they were playing? What did you see shift from Friday to Sunday offensively? Well, I think. I think we had, you know, both games we had plenty of chances, and so that that's really what it was all about, you know. And we, you know, we in the formation we'd been playing, you know, was giving us opportunities to get more balls on frame, just be more dangerous. Period. But again, like you said, is the the chances were there on Friday night. It just was a matter of putting those balls away, and you know, we still have a lot of players do. You know, we have Bree and Christina. And Natalie Jones. I mean, we have a lot of players that are due due to score, so that could be a good thing at this point. But I think we're we're in a good position right now of of seeing if we can pay those off. Uh, as far as just maybe how impressive the three scores were, I mean, take us through some of those plays. Those were, uh, I mean, those are just great athletes making really incredible plays, uh, ending up with with Emily Heidman's header for the, for the game winner. Uh, those are pretty pretty special plays by some talented kids. Yes, um, you know, Chase didn't even play on, on Friday night, and so she came in. You know, we know what she can do. She's She's got a pretty strong left foot, and, you know, and she's scored from that angle where she came came in from. So, you know, and she and I think the goalkeeper may have been maybe may have been surprised that she shot right there, but but she didn't really, um, you know, that ball was ripped, and she and it went and just went off her hand in the back of the net. And then uh, Taylor Den. Yeah, um, also has scored that goal at practice a lot. You know where she can she gets the ball and penetrates, and she's on frame a lot, and she's low, and so and again, the keeper caught that ball in the back of the net, so it was nice to get to get that ball. It's also, just two freshmen getting getting kind of getting their feet wet, get scoring some goals, and then then Emily Heidman. You know, I was walking up the sideline after the first attempt before before the ball was crossed by Alicia again. And I was just kind of trying to will that thing in because the but but I saw Emily come up in the air, and um, and she put that ball down on the ground, you know, which was nice, you know, because because a lot of times we had been hitting those over the frame, and for her to pop that down, was uh was 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 awesome to kind of finish that way, especially when we you know we were with the wind, and we'd be going into the against the wind in the second overtime. So Chicago State has also recently played Lamar and Rio Grande Valley which also ended in two losses. So how are you feeling going into the tournament? No, I mean, we, we've seen film on Chicago State. They, they look like they're a, they're a, they're a good team, and, um, and they have some weapons. Um, again, like I said, we just have to worry about more about what we're trying to do um, and see if we can keep, create the chances that we want. 
And so again, it's just going to be kind of a battle of field position and see if we can impose our will on that end. And so that, I think that's going to be the difference in the game, however it shakes out on Saturday. So can you tell me your thoughts on Foster this season? No, still, uh, Lily's doing great. Um, like I said, even even though that she's doing great, she's still she's still learning, and I think she's still you know directing the back line well, and just kind of trying to get you know I think she every week she's even getting better on that end. Um, but yeah, she's but as far as catching the ball and, and blocking shots and, and just and just being being uh, a huge asset for us has been she's been a great has, has had a great season so far. Yeah. So is there anything you would like to see better executed in this next game? Well, I, I mean, literally, you know, when it comes down to us, you know, we break a tackle and we get inside the inside the 18, you know, it's just being able to put the ball away, you know, that that's that's where we were or taking on play, you know, taking on the defender at speed and, and see if we can get somebody off balance. But again, just again, when we have that those opportunities, we need to get more balls on frame. And I think the more balls on frame will result in, result in more goals, but that's the, that's the main thing we're looking at doing. And also making our set pieces um, more effective. I don't think we've been great on, especially on direct kicks, being able to be dangerous. And I'd like that to be better this week. Yeah, and then how are you feeling at this point in the season two conferences? No, you feel good. You know, you, you know you, when you start conference, you know, you want to start on the right foot because you don't want to be kind of climbing from behind. You know, we, you know, we, we know that, you know, you have to be in the top three in order to get to the conference tournament. And so anytime you can pick up a point or three, um, that's going to be huge for us, you know, and, and as far as how, how things shake out in the very end. Uh, as far as making uh, a little bit of a change offensively, moving Christina to the mid uh, and just did you feel like there was something there that you could capitalize on offensively, just changing and tweaking where uh, some of the girls are on the field? Well, Christina, you know, one thing that she did, does at the mid, you know, she can create opportunities for us, whether whether or not she's going to get all the shots, but she also can set people up pretty well, and that's what she did a good job of. But you know, we're still, you know, we're still this far in the season, and we're still looking for the. The, the player who's going to want to put the ball in the net. We have a lot of good forwards, but, but we're still auditioning for who's going to be the one who's going to put them away. And so we're all we have a lot of lot are close. And you know Nicole Barham played um, a, quite a bit in the, uh, the she played the whole second half of Sunday's game, but she created a lot of opportunities for us as well, uh, both on Friday night and Saturday. But again, we still we have plenty of players that are that can do it. It's just we're we're waiting for the ones that are going to step up more consistently.